Hello, everybody. Thank you so very much for joining me. It is outstanding to have you. My name is Chris, otherwise known as Wolfie. And we are live once again with Massively Overpowered's OPTV. And my usual afternoon stream is going to be backseat streaming instead. And that means, of course, I am going to be doing this with the magnificent and majestic MJ Guthrie. Hello, MJ. Oh. MJ has had no sleep for a very long time, so we're going to have fun today. It's, it's going to be a loopy kind of stream, I think. But uh, yes, hello, MJ. And, and before we continue on, tier one subscription for 12 months from Britannia. Thank you so incredibly much for that. Wow. That is inc that is so very cool of you. Thank you. And uh, I um, I dig that emote. That, uh, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> That's quite the dance emote we see there. I love it. Yes. It doesn't work as good without the voice, but it's probably funnier. <laughs> so, yes, as you can see from the game logo on the graphic there, we are going to be enjoying some footage from Final Fantasy XIV. Um... This comes courtesy of my husband, Welsh Fox, who very kindly uh, sat down, uh, brought his uh, TARDIS fam uh, friends together, and uh, it kind of looks like from the quick little blips through the video that I saw that they did a little bit of everything, honestly. Um, looks like there is a dungeon run or two, maybe a trial, some treasure maps. Uh, there's a little bit of everything going on. So we've we've got a bit of a smorgasbord. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Darth Paul, how are you? Good to see you. So, yes, uh, I'm sorry, go on. Oh, I just say, I hope everybody's having a really good day today. Not yes. Not getting freezing rain like some of us. Are you getting crazy rain right now? We had freezing rain overnight, and it's still been coming down some. Oh, that's unfortunate. Love All right. Yucky that's very yucky sounding. Okay, so I think we'll kind of... Uh, get forward into the stream because we have a lot of footage. Uh, my husband kind of went a little nuts. Uh, uh, he, he recorded about an hour and a half of footage. Um, so we have a lot of stuff to get through. So uh, there we go. We, we start with my husband, who is a cat man, enjoying some tea. As you do when you start off, a, when you start off an adventure. You can barely hear MJ. Yeah, I was trying to adjust that. Um, oh, here, I'll move. Oh, I might be maxed out already. I'm not hearing sound. Yeah. You. Oh, wait, no, I got you muted. That's my fault. <laughs> okay. Sorry, everybody. Some of the problem is the fact that I'm still not um, owning a, a good voice anymore. <laughs> Yeah, MJ's voice is still on the ringer, the poor thing, so uh, you'll have to uh, please excuse her for a little bit while she uh, kind of gets back into the groove. It's kind of, it's really astonishing that you're doing as much streaming as you are, though, genuinely. Well, I mean, I was out a week straight. Um, okay, I am maxed on my end, so I don't know, you can probably max me some in Discord. Yeah, I've, I've ramped you up in Discord, and I've also kind of increased the the your your end of volume so hopefully you guys are hearing her okay i'll scream ah! oh. <laughs> that's real good okay excellent okay perfect perfect okay so we're starting off with a brand new dungeon that was added in the recent patch um Ooh. so we that's are victory. we're riding on the back of a gigantic snow truck basically <laughs> See the snowbirds getting chopped up with my sword. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm actually coming into this with a whole lot more knowledge than uh, than usual, which is nice. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. There might be still some surprises in the footage. I don't really know exactly what they all did. Um, so we'll see how oh, it goes. Hey. Feel free to be knowledgeable, and that totally offset my complete, you know unknowledgeableness <laughs> fair enough dude I keep trying to turn the angle of the video 
Ah, uh, it's doing it again. She's doing it again, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> She's trying to turn the camera. <laughs> She's trying to get a good screenshot angle. I couldn't help it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there. Thank you. Thank you, recorder. <laughs> All right. I, I've got my hands behind my head. I'm stretched back now. There you go. Kick back and relax. <laughs> That's what Bexy streaming is about, baby. Just kick back and relax. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I sound so funny. <laughs> So my, my husband is playing a red mage um, because it's the fanciest and it has a rapier, which are like two of the things that my husband loves so very, very much. <laughs> like, I feel like that was like the reasons why he chose this class, which I respect 100%. I mean, I chose a dancer because it's fancy and, and very showy. So, you know. Sounds like he chose wisely. <laughs> I'd say we have a red mage stand in the audience. <laughs> it's a fun class, though. It actually is the, the mage class in this game that I enjoy the most, personally. It's a... Uh, black mage boggles my mind. Um, and I never actually tried Summoner, but it never really appealed to me, even after the rework. So, you know, red mage just is fun. It's a good time. Oh, I don't play this, just thought his reasons were sound. Ah, okay, my bad. <laughs> you know what? That's understandable. Yes, his reasons are 100% sound. I agree. What? A green with someone else on the internet? What is your problem? I know. Holy cow. Doing this crazy talk out here. <laughs> Sheesh. Next thing I know, I'll be giving somebody positive feedback on, on Reddit or something. Ugh. What a weirdo. So those who aren't familiar with the Red Mage class, it's basically, you know, like most mages, it kind of stays out of the way. Um, but if you notice on the bottom right corner there, there's a, a gauge that he fills up, which allows him to sort of close into melee distance just like that and unleash some big attacks with his sword. So it's kind of like a mixture of magic and, and sword swinger. got a pneumonia vaccine yesterday maybe it's affecting me <laughs> yes <laughs> one of the side effects of a pneumonia vaccine is being nice to people on the internet i guess <laughs> i love this whole snow buffalo rampage yeah this this is a fun mechanic like genuinely this first boss fight is it's a really fun mechanic <laughs> like <laughs> I was not paying attention the first time I ran this uh, to the tells that told me that was going to happen, and I got knocked all over the place. It was wonderful. <laughs> like, coming through, coming through. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. No, so, y'all, I don't know how many have, have heard the study where they've uh, um, concluded, uh, they've discovered that going without sleep for long enough actually gives you the very same um I'm not thinking of the right word here um reaction to you know your your system how your system reacts in your body and your mind and everything to like when you're drunk and i can tell you that i may not have ever been drunk but if i go without sleep a lot of people can consider me to be <laughs> like when did you start drinking oh no i just haven't slept in two days don't worry about it <laughs> You, you but I do, <laughs> I do though. I do though. I mean, I very much worry about it. I'm, <laughs> I worry about my friends. I can't help it. No, it's just you know, extra giggly. That's less fair. Uh, less inhibitions. Less inhibitions. Yeah. Less ability to speak. Right. <laughs> less less ability to come up with five dollar words for your conditions. Yes. <laughs> my my eloquence. Plummets. But no. I I to be fair, I don't think anybody is eloquent when they're lack when they're suffering from a lack of sleep. <laughs> I mean, you know. Uh, that's of, right. 
Lack of sleep doesn't give you mind reading powers? Surprisingly, no, it doesn't, which is weird. Well, it gives you some kind of power, and it's usually the power of delusion. <laughs> Uh, this, well, the, the underwear shot there. The very important. Dude. The very important is this a nice looking piece of gear? Check. That's what that was. It's because I didn't see gear. I just saw underwear cat. <laughs> underwear cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we have the title of the video now. <laughs> the Adventures of Underwear Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Britannia says my favorite from Lack of Sleep is when I can feel my taste buds tingle and the soul be. <laughs> <laughs> so my eyes, my eyes just departing. <laughs> the most tired I'd ever been was when I was driving home from visiting friends in Thanksgiving. And like, it was literally like a 12 hour ride. So when I was at the final stretch of the drive, because the traffic was so insane, like I was literally hallucinating things on the final stretch back home. like. I was oh seeing God. like tiny shadowy bunnies jumping across the street, oh. and, the, and the street signs just got down and started bouncing across. Like. No, no, the street signs didn't get down and bounce across, but they did hop <clears throat> into place as my headlights cast upon them. So oh, like man. they were like maybe like a foot off of the side of the road, but when I got a little closer, I saw them go wink and like jump into place. Mask. Yeah. My worst was, I think, a third day without sleep, and I was loopy. I could not walk straight. I was stumbling. Oh, I, no. I seriously looked like I had imbibed way too much. Oh, man. Underwear cat, underwear cat, what are they feeding you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this one's an interesting one. It's a it's a fast moving it's a fast moving fight. Like the uh, the tells of what's coming do come out. They don't give you a lot of warning. It's it's uh, it catch you off guard if you're not if you're not familiar with it. I can't see the fight for all the sea of names. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of names on the screen. It's it's fine. I can't, I can't even see what it is. I think it has wings. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to be obscured. A lot of the fights are probably going to be obscured by names and spell effects. That's kind of like the <laughs> the visual treat that can be Final Fantasy XIV sometimes. I have uh, oh. I have teammate party effects turned off for precisely that reason. Oh, I don't think these hold the candle to Star Trek Online's. No, but they can be when there's a lot of people. Uh, if if he does a raid, then you'll see the absolute manic spell effect n majesty of this game. <laughs> but yes, I agree. Um, the uh, STO's got some. It's got some effects. It makes me cry sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> My whole screen is flashbanged like, by so many things. I'm just like, oh. Multiple flashbangs. Yeah. Okay, so it's gonna go zip. Oh, he was out of position. Da, zip -a -a. <laughs> I, oh my, I'm gonna kill you today. <laughs> Plenty of scythe swings coming your way. <laughs> Getting blinded in DDO is no picnic either. <laughs> oh no. Why do you think I'm a range class, man? Stay back. But in STO, there's no escape. There really isn't. Like, genuinely no escape whatsoever. We've had streams where I've got my eyes closed and people are telling me when I can open them again. And I can still feel the bright flashes on my eyelids. Uh, like a true mage class, my husband ate the damage that was easily avoidable. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, nope, this is my DPS window and I am having it. <laughs> Do not interrupt my spell. <laughs> All right, so now that zippy mechanic increases by a, a, about two times or three times. 
Those actually look like really pretty geodes. Right? But they're teleportation locations. It kind of like zips out and pulls out that big old cross effect. A lot of dance steps in this game. Daily. <laughs> okay. A whole lot of dance steps in this game. A whole lot of dancing going on. <laughs> All right. I haven't listened to music in a few days, folks. You you might be stuck with me singing this whole stream. Yeah. <laughs> we might be enjoying some golden oldies as a result. <laughs> Well, they might be more bronzy oldies. <laughs> yeah, bronzy <laughs> oldies. That's the way my voice is going, you know. Squawk, squawk, squawk. <laughs> I I have not been able to sing in like three weeks, so. Oh no, that's that's awful. Were we genuinely? I'm not, I'm I'm truly not being sarcastic. That's that <laughs> sounds awful. Oh, we were supposed to fall. Okay. Yes, that was supposed to happen. Welcome to the Pools of Ceruleum. Ooh, pretty little snakes. <laughs> and turtles. And turtles. Oh, turtle crabs. Turtle crabs, yeah. No, this actually never really paid attention to what they... Uh, yeah, they're not... totally... They have pinchers. They're more like, more like kind of hermit crabs with turtle shells. Horrible. <laughs> I feel like I've been deceived. <laughs> cute fluffy snake. I thought it was gonna have cute fluffy turtle, but no. Oh, you get you get scorpion crab turtles. Demon claws, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, look, he moved out of that one. And that one. Hey. Well, probably because he's using spells that were, allow him to move. <laughs> yeah. I know that. Where you're timing something, you know? Can I stay in how in this circle? Yep. Long enough to get my spell off before his spell goes off. Yep, it's often a foot race when it comes to cooldowns and spell effects like that, that's for sure. Cannot use while casting. At least. Invalid target. Not ready! <laughs> Your invalid target is not ready yet! It's not ready. It's not ready to eat this damage. And my husband, the Loot Goblin, greeting everything, of course. Like oh, a good little, like a good little Loot Goblin. It looked a little bit like squiddy spiders. <laughs> Can you cast spells and move at the same time in this game? In some cases, yes. Uh, there are some mage classes and spells across the magic classes, and all the classes, actually, that allow you to move and cast. Uh, the Black Mage class is easily by far the most stationary um like it has long cast of times and, and it even has a skill that like if you stand in the circle of of runes and stuff that you put down like your damage is a lot harder <laughs> so what cannot be worn will become seals this is the way <laughs> Yes, any gear that you don't actually need or want, you can just kind of break it down into a currency for other stuff. Oh, he actually passed on that one. Oh, weird. Alright, final boss time. Uh, Tenix says Dude, at least... It looks like he just painted his nails. Look how he's holding his hands. Hey, Ooh, I mean, yeah. They gotta dry. They gotta, gotta dry. Dry, him, dry him out. Dry him out. <laughs> I bet it was my mistake that he passed on the item. <laughs> totally. Oh, you were gonna read Tanix's comment? Yes, I was. Uh, at least in DDO, when you're blinded, you are blind. In STO, when you're blinded by effects, it is... <laughs> <laughs> it is like looking into the Rark and Raiders <laughs> with a face melting face and melt. everything. <laughs> Who does Accurate. not see that image in their head when that comes up? Right? Oh my goodness, that is one of the most iconic images of those decades. <laughs> I'm not sure which decade it was. Was it the 90s? 
I think so? It would have had to be early 90s. Early 90s, oh. I think. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Oof. Oh, he did. No, right. no, it was 81. Oh, okay. I'm like, I, did I see it in middle school or high school or... Mm. Wow. <laughs> the only thing worse is when MJ opens her inventory and we can't look away in time. <laughs> <laughs> oh... <laughs> He's lucky I'm not the healer in our parties, man. <laughs> you won't be getting no healings from me. Oh, I wanted to share some really important knowledge to y'all. Yes. Right? It's very important. So, y'all know words like, um, like... And um, <laughs> you know, those words. <laughs> Rather demonstratory there. So I wanted to go and find, there are usually very clinical definitive work, you know, uh, like, like onomatopoeia and, you know, words that describe the things like we know in our head, but we don't oh. know those words. <laughs> Sorry oh, to interrupt. Oh. My husband was drinking tea while that huge splash of damage is going off. Alright, anyway, go on. Apologies, <laughs> I had to call that out. <laughs> that was great. Those words are called disco... No. What was the first one they're called? Vocal disfluencies. Also known as discourse markers, pause fillers, and hesitation forms. Now you have been enlightened. Indeed. You now have a brand new term for the ums and the uhs. <laughs> and it sounds very boring. <laughs> well, you gotta admit, disfluency sounds kind of a... Uh... It sounds like an insult, actually. Like, you know? You know? Like... Yeah, disfluency you! <laughs> oh, okay. Well, my husband was pulled into that area, and he was standing just where he was was actually just fine. He wouldn't have been hit either, but, you know, his friends looking out for him, pulling him to the group. It was huggy-huggy time. <laughs> yes, you know what? I, I bet that's what it was. Huggy-huggy time. Oh, man, this thing still stands there with his little hands, fingernails hanging down. Yeah, he's very... I He's very proud of this clause. It, it, and when he re it reaches out, it, you know, looks kind of like a really wimpy slap. Oi, 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 slap you here. Mom! He touched me! That one swipe's not too bad. It actually has a, a good round swipe in it, but the other one was just like floppy hand. <laughs> like, who are you gonna hurt with floppy hand, dude? Ooh, malevolent energy is spilling from the void. Why is malevolent energy always purple? Right? And why is the void always purple? Like, why does why does evil energy always have to be purpley, purple black? Pur purple means royal kings. You think? Because blue is good, red is evil. The mixture is purple. Oh, you know what? That's oh, that's not okay. a bad that's not a bad line of thinking, actually. Yeah, if you want to think of chaos void. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool piece. I like that piece. <laughs> that's fancy. Doesn't even need pants. I have no idea what that last thing was. That was, was the oh, so oh, at the end of a at the end of a dungeon, you can like gift accommodation a commendation yeah. to to party members and kind of like basically. Sort of tell them, good job, thanks for the run. We're right back to more tea. Oh, look at this. I'm just chilling. That would make a really good screenshot. Purple is royal for kings. Now, whenever... Now, why ever would that be the color of evil and corruption? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Apple time. It's 
Whoa. I think we can... Oh, oh, he did... Oh, look, that was nice. He actually cut the ports of of the video footage where he was, like, in a queue. Wow, all right. There's some editing. I was about to skip ahead, but... <laughs> but, no, we have... We have edits. Wow. We have edits. Cool. All right. All right, we're very sci-fi here. Yes. So there are some dungeons and parts of the game where it gets kind of sci-fi-ish. And also the music slaps. I don't know if you can... I, I was going to say, yeah, I get some heavy stuff in there. Masayoshi Soken, the composer for this game, is an absolute monstrous genius. Like he, there is literally no genre of music that he doesn't touch. It's astonishing. You want heavy metal, you want jazz, you want the most recent raid, like the final boss music was like literal 90s anime theme nonsense. It was, it's, he's amazing. He created a theme for like a simple seasonal quest that was basically like a 70s Japanese henshin uh, show. Like it was, like it was, it's incredible. <laughs> He's amazing. Kind of make me just put my head and wanna growl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta shoot the bad guys. <laughs> you know, it actually is fitting because that's about how my voice is right now, so I can actually do that for once. Yeah, I was going to say, that was actually a really good heavy metal chick voice. That was great. <laughs> I can hug MJ. Hey, Crasher! Hey, Crasher! I, What's I, good? I know like, Crasher has that name. Yes. Crashes into us every time. Comes to say hi. Every, he he does not arrive quietly. He is a wrecking ball of love. It's good to see you, buddy. That is not a song I want stuck in my head. So don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Oops, sorry. I'm so glad you guys can't see me. <laughs> no, you think I have a computer chair? It's really a wrecking ball. <laughs> All right, it's time for Robot Spider Fight, aka a little tiny, little tiny Proto Omega. It looked like it just popped the squat on you guys. It kind of does, honestly. Like, <laughs> it kind of does, and also, you know, it has explosive, you know, stuff. Spider robot pooping on you. <laughs> you don't want to be under that stuff, he, man. And there we go. He literally copy squat on him. It kind of looks grasshoppery to me, I guess. Yeah, it's it's a little grasshoppery, beetly kind of a thing. The world's slowest moving missiles. Yeah. There we go. He gets ready to like, it looks like he's gonna shoot out the side. I get this vision of him like plugging his nose to pop his eardrums, right? <laughs> 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 he's got those little pincher feet. Like, I can see feet in between all that. I can see a little bit. There's, there's tiny feets. There's some little, little, little grabby feets. Yeah, that puppy can be climbing up an eave wall. And... and also, it can fly. Also, I just kind of realized how many guns this thing has on it. Like, there's so many guns. Yeah. On the shoulders, on the sides, on... Ooh. Got many that cannons. Was an eyeball burner. <laughs> there he goes. Bloop, 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 bloop. 
So my husband plays on a controller. Um, he started playing this game on the PS4. Um, he's still on a P he he's since moved to the PC version, but he still plays on a gamepad. Love the coverage of Final Fantasy XIV, and you guys doing the backseat commentary is funny as heck. Hey, love to hear it. Thank you so much for that. That's what we're here for. As we watch Underwear Cat do his thing. <laughs> See, there are some spells that allow you to, like, cast while you're on the move. It's a lot more mobile caster class than, than the others. Than the Black Mage, certainly. Also, it has cool moves like that giant railgun attack. I love that thing. It's so cool. As cacophonous as this is in terms of visuals, I can pick out, sort of, I can, uh, since I'm not really paying close attention to the combat, I can actually like just sort of look at things. I can actually pick out what effects are what and which class is doing what. Like it's, that's. That's how big of a nerd I am about this game, <laughs> frankly. So we have plenty more robots, including this dude who has wheels for feet. And nobody said that evil robots had to be designed for function. <laughs> I can just have weird forms too. It's fine. You can style. It's like you're playing jacks. <laughs> that does look like a jack, doesn't it? Yeah, you're right. Cadre, love the coverage of Final Fantasy XIV. And you guys doing backseat commentary is funny as heck. Ah, thank you. We, I, this is like one of the only, um, you know, mop resolutions I actually accomplished last year. <laughs> I'm very excited for about it. We've we've had a great time, and I think we've had really good um, reception. I think so too. Yeah, I I think it's gone off pretty well, all things considered. I'm glad we're doing it. Hello, hello. Hey, How is everybody? Hi. Hey, good to see you. We're doing good. How are you? Sounded funny. Sounded funny, but... <laughs> yeah. So, fun fact, I'm going to let you guys know a little bit earlier today. So, uh, I go through and clear out the the highlights are what Twitch... Um, the highlights are what we put inside our stream posts because they don't go away. But the past broadcasts are what Twitch promotes for like the past four broadcasts, right? So that's where uh, a number of views will come from. And so we've had a few videos get, you know, a thousand plus views over December as going through having to clear out the past broadcast. And one of them was actually Swotor. What the heck? Wow, really? That game usually doesn't get a whole lot of views and it just took it away. That's cool. I genuinely am surprised by that. Honestly, that's great. The others were yours. Uh, when was an Elite Dangerous went over a thousand? Nice. And oh, I meant to write them down because I, I oftentimes send them to Bree. You know what things are getting the surprise views and sure things like that. Oh, and EverQuest Two had nine hundred. Dude, awesome. Didn't see that coming. Wow. All right. Still got some legs in that old girl. Awesome. That's just me bumping around Frostville, man. It tells <laughs> me that the community... Frostville's a big deal there. I mean, seasonal holidays are always awesome. They are, but nobody's... Nobody's doing them well anymore. They're just reruns of reruns of reruns, you know? Yeah, there isn't a whole lot of brand brand new, yeah. I on the one hand, I can appreciate having tradition, but on the other hand, like, you know, 
something, something different something. would be cool. Yeah, for sure. All right, I time mean, to Everquest we used to do that, you know, add something every year. Yeah. So that the people who played it for 18 years. Yeah, had something to look have forward something to. Something new to do, yeah. I, I think that's such a wasted opportunity for games to just add a tiny something. Yeah, I agree. I love the action camera shot that he took while he was doing that slide. <laughs> Such a show off. Such an absolute show off. I love it. <laughs> so first it was Jax. Now we're playing Ball. It's Ball. Out it's Ball and Robot ball. Dragon. Oh, we're playing Fetch. You're playing fetch, yes. We're bringing, we're bringing the the toy balls to the robot dragons to play with. Ignore the fact really that their robots? health is going down. Those are totally robot dragons, yes. One looks like a robot, but the, oh, that one, okay. His, this, there's the, there's only so only the front leg. They're cyborg drag. Um, okay. So like, so for context, we're like kind of like going through the memory of a, the mastermind of a robotic race that like just kind of like goes through the planet to planet, and like assimilating and destroying life. And copying their forms and like at one point they invaded the world where the dragons came from um so that was part of that invasion they they copied dragons it's it's i mean i'm 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 missing a lot of like the the, the deeper context and explanation but that's that's brass tacks memories where resistance is futile <laughs> <laughs> we'll assimilate all of you into our robot plan. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I gotta not turn my head quick to look at chat because I just. Whoa, dizzy. Oh, no. Be careful, please. But I didn't have like little, little brakes to put on my chair wheels here to keep me safer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's yeah. All right. One of these time. days, I'm gonna fly out and I'll fall from my chair during a stream. Oh, no. It'll happen. I know it. Oh dear. I've fallen asleep on stream before. Oh gosh, you have. I have. Oh. It was only for like a minute, but I totally fell asleep on stream once. Oh man. <laughs> Like, wow, I'm tired. It was like a blink, a long blink, and then a long enough blink, I lost consciousness for a moment, and then I'm like, what? Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm still did alive. Did anyone notice? <laughs> Am I snoring? Did, it, did anybody hear anything? Recalibrating thought level. Deploying draconic specimen. Yeah, see, they're cyborgs. Yep. They're Borgs. They're Borgs. Borg dragon. Oh, dragon good Borg. heavens. <laughs> Cyborg. Borg. Oh, my Lord. How did I never get that before? Did you seriously what? not? Really? Wow. Really? No, it, it's probably because I'm just befuddled in the brain right now. You know what? That's fair. That's 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 but fair. But suddenly, that connection, I'm sure I came up with that connection 25 years ago, but... Really? Mecha Beholder. You know what? You're not totally wrong. It's a Mecha Eyeball. Oh, it totally makes it a Beholder. <laughs> also, it likes to break itself apart into pieces and try to attack you with big sweeping attacks. You're trying to turn the camera again, dang it. <laughs> like, I want to see the eyeball. I want to see the eyeball. It's right Stop there. Look at the ground. There's the eyeball. There we go. Now I can see it better. No. See, he moves it down. <laughs> That's no moon. It's a disco ball. Did you see that? It's totally a disco ball. Also, it I think that like confuses you. Or yeah, it forces you to move into a direction. Macho, macho mage. I want to be your macho mage. <laughs> Hello, Guild Arts. Welcome. Good to see you, Fred. Ooh, everybody got smacked on that one. Eesh. Oh, 
like it has a hairnet around it, you know? It kind of does look a little hairnetty, doesn't it? Or, oh, you know, it's those squishy balls that are inside the little netting. Oh, yeah, those things, yeah. Oh. Go right up and just go squishy, squish. Go squishy, <laughs> squish, yes, squish. yes. It's not made of metal, it's made of squish. It's squish. <laughs> it's made of squish. It's a total disco ball. Total disco ball. Burning, burning. It's going for now. Oh, and he's gonna get his limit break off. Big spell. Boom. You cannot carry any more tombstones. What? So tombstones. Tom tombstones. Tombstones. Oh. <laughs> so those are like the end game currency that lets you buy buy in uh, top level gear. Uh, like make way, make way. Burn, baby, burn. Mecca Inferno. Oh, we have a we have an outfit oh, change. Wow. And a class change. I think he's uh yeah, he's this gunbreaker. That's a that's a that's a tank class. Alright. Right. Oh, we're gonna get in the face now. Yes. We are totally tanking stuff now. Cool. And of course, homology. So we are in Saint Lucian's Arboretum. Ooh, pants. Oxygen. <laughs> Ooh, pants. <laughs> I like it. no plants. Plants. Oh, I thought you said pants. I'm sorry. <laughs> no plants. I mean, pants are optional. Pants but... are. <laughs> Y'all don't know the number of times I've streamed dressed. Usually I'm in PJs. Like, all the, oh, that is the cutest little slime bugger. What is that? <laughs> it's, it's a little mud ball. It's a little, it's a little goopy. Yeah, it's a little goofy gooper. It's like, it's like one of those chocolates that you left out too long and it's just kind of <laughs> melted down. Uh, you know what the, the big cherry in the middle are filling? Yeah, 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 yeah. The little plants came to hug us too. They have with they their have, with their with their huggy slappers, yeah. <laughs> They're very sharp edges, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing says hug quite like giant thorns, am I right? Yeah. This reminds me of your, you know, spider hugginess <laughs> comment <laughs> in arc. <laughs> I'm oh, never gonna live. That's never going to die. Never, never. It was, it was perfectly amazing comment. Oh man, my phone's yelling at me that it has to be charged. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just sitting here. Well, apparently, they're doing that much upset the phone. How dare you? I know. Hurting the phone's feelings. It's because I'm ignoring it. My <laughs> watch bud was like meet, 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 and I'm like, what's your problem? Charge your phone. <laughs> All right, so speaking of tiny chocolates. Ooh, where, chocolate? Oh! <laughs> look at those little, they're like little raisinette drops. <laughs> Dude, those look yummy. They kind of look tasty, don't they? A little bit, yeah. Oh my gosh, they, they look, really do. They look edible. You look edible <laughs> in every <laughs> way. <laughs> oh, so edible. <laughs> My mouth, you'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be saying sorry? <laughs> For all no. my. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. Never apologize. Uh, oh, wow. Yes, this thing is all mouth and feet. Isn't hook to mouth uh, an actual disease? I mean... It also looks kind of fluffy. It's like a Chia Pet gone wrong. Gone very, very wrong, actually. Actually, it's shaped a lot like my Ducky Ducky. Oh, no. <laughs> except with the, you know... It's not cute furry, you no, know, fluffy. No. Definitely not cute furry. It's it's a 
That's that's a horror fluff. I would totally take a plushie of that dude. Or does that not look like a perfect dog squeaker toy? It's tennis. <laughs> it is very tennis ball like. Perfect. Neighbor's dog behind us. They have this, you know, puppy that comes up to your waist. <laughs> <clears throat> so he's out playing in the snow while my son and I are having to shovel out the whole area. And he's the kind that would cro creep up to you, but as soon as you turn around and looked at him, he, like, did that bounce and, and hopped away. Right. You know, that little play dance. So one time he actually, he has had something in his mouth. I thought he wanted to play, play with it. But he would never drop it. He finally dropped it in the, one of my snowbanks, and I went and got it. And it was this little stuffed Eeyore. Oh. He had his own little baby Eeyore, and I was just like, this is the cutest thing. That's so adorable. But if I turned to my back, the puppy would come up right up behind me, and then I'd turn around and be like, hi! And he would be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah, he entertained me for an hour. I liked it. This looks more like a beholder with a tail. <laughs> hey, it was underwear cat again. It was time for underwear cat. You had to see if those boots were nice looking. Bah. Underwear, underwear. Well, I can't charge my phone here because the adapter is not sitting where it's supposed to. Oh, no. Bye. Time for more chocolate. <gasps> Chucky. <laughs> Chucky. Is he just running away from the fight? What? No, he's, he's, he's trying to pull them all together. Oh, that's right. He's tank this time. He's the tank this time. So he's... I'm like, he's just abandoning the part. Okay, those look like cute little like jelly beans. <laughs> Oh, they're leeches. Arboretum leech. Yeah. Those are the cutest leeches I've ever seen. <laughs> Things you'll only hear during a live stream here on OPTV. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of love the, the design of the, the blooming Beloko, this, this big tree beast. Like it casts big old spells like that. It's really neat. I dig it. Oh my it. gosh, they have faces! They do have faces. The little green balls of. Yeah, they I have faces. Face. And if you're caught in that effect, you, you get turned into one of them. Oh. So, you know. Oh. <laughs> so Look that. At you. That happens. You're so cute! <laughs> <laughs> Those monsters are called Corpacurs. They're adorable. Royal Volunteers Choker of Slain. Hey, Jusalia. Yeah. You all take care of those guys. Gotta pull them all together so you can press on. That's some good tanking. How easy or hard is it to get and keep aggro? It's not really hard. It's, it's really not. Like, you know, you just need to be sure you got your tank stains turned on. But uh, otherwise, it's generally pretty simple to keep and maintain or to get and maintain aggro. Um, there are some, like, more intense fights, either in dungeons or, like, the harder trials and whatnot, where, like, where, like, you have to, like, trade aggro with the other tank that's in the party. So. <laughs> oh, tank ping pong, man! Tank that is pong. a game. Yes, it is. And there are some there are some encounters that require tank ping pong. Okay, boss two of the arboretum. There's this lovely little plant lady. Things are so pretty. Right? 
So we're beating up a Silvari, I guess. <laughs> Have you been tainted by the dragon? You must die. <laughs> yeah, I can make that reference now because I know what I'm talking about for once. I just barely got done with the personal story. I had no idea what all that stuff. So I'm... <laughs> I, I get going in a personal story, and it's like, oh, it's so important for us to kill the dragons, and I'm already like, yeah, we saw how that turned out already, so, uh, all your self-righteous, you know, cooing is just making me roll my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a little bit more, uh, personal, <laughs> a little more insight. Yeah, it's like, yeah, how'd that all work out for you, huh? <laughs> wink. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, yeah. Dynamo, Dynamo. It has actually been a very long time since I've done this dungeon, so I kind of forgot how the mechanics work. You know how long it's been since I've done it? <laughs> Ever. I can guess. Yeah. It was forever ago. I've never been in that dungeon. I, I couldn't even tell you the farthest I've gone. I know my level's not that. I only go to ride chocobos. And you know what? That's fair. Riding chocobos is a good time. You know, the way she bends at him in that one attack, I swear it looks like it's a sneeze attack. That's like what I look like when I sneeze. Achoo! Achoo! So you, so you float in the air and bend your back and you know, kind of blast the sneeze. Is that... waist? Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> That's impressive sneezes, MJ. Wow. <laughs> mighty impressive sneezes. Oh, uh, so did those. Okay, I was like, the, whoa. Yeah, so, like, the idea is to, like, it... Goes to, like, it looks all shiny, and you see the arrows going the different ways on the whole floor. What the heck does that mean? What does that do? So... Like the whole floor had it. Yeah, that, so that, those indicators were to show when, what direction you were going to be knocked off. And the idea is to use those to get blasted out of the way of those stone folks who are about to do the big old line smashes attacks. So you gotta use that to get pushed out of the way. But also not get pushed out of the way so far that you get pushed into the that little edge of the arena where it hurts. There's little thorns of pain. <laughs> These guys look like a little crochet hat. <laughs> crochet! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm never gonna cap. not see that now. <laughs> it's a can Does that not look like a little knitted cap? I mean... It does look a little, little, little grandma capish. Yes, you're not wrong. It does look like something your grandma knitted you for Christmas, and you had to wear it. Yep. Uh, you sure y'all want to watch games with me still? Cause <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna, we're gonna ruin some, some of your head cannon. Yeah, we're gonna have some. We're gonna have some new insight into this game because this is stuff that she's never seen before. So, you know, things are her reactions are definitely gonna be pure and unique. <laughs> definitely unique. But also we have underwear one but then again we also have wonderful things like underwear cat, so you know. Yeah. The underwear cat's not my doing. <laughs> I totally want some chocolates now. Yeah, now I'm gonna. Now this dungeon is gonna make me hungry for chocolate too. Go figure. I just realized the name of these things are called Dorpakers. That's cute. Dorp, 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 
And these things look like actual turtles. Sort of. Ancient chocolate ninja turtles. <laughs> Do not eat the turtles. They will bite. <laughs> 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 they do totally look like chocolate creations yep. whoever did mud in this game was hungry for chocolate <laughs> yes the mud texture artists were very very hungry for chocolate clearly and you can tell it's all milk chocolate oh yeah totally maybe maybe this is a product endorsement for Hershey's I don't know. I feel like Japanese probably wouldn't like Hershey's that much. Hmm. Doesn't mean they wouldn't do a product endorsement. <laughs> you know what? That's a fair point. All right. Final boss time. Again. I don't think anybody likes Hershey's except for Americans. <laughs> and I've turned into a, you know, snooty, snooty yeah. European chocolate uh, kind of gal. Yes. I, I kind of have as well. I've gotten snooty about coffee because one of the Christmas presents I got was a mocha pot, and like mocha now I, pot. yeah, and like it's it brews coffee in a totally different way, and like I use fresh beans, like freshly ground beans, and like it legitimately coffee has never tasted better. And honestly, it's it's blown my mind. <laughs> So take a wild guess what this thing is made out of. Chalky. <laughs> chalky. Alright, fine. You know what? We'll stick with that. It's totally a chalky monster. It's totally out of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. <laughs> <laughs> and that's totally chocolate surging up from the bottom of uh, below everybody, obviously. There was a chocolate waterfall. Why can't there be chocolate geysers? <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm not listening to the sound effects. It sounds very squishy. <laughs> it's very squishy. Actually, it's one of those chocolate fountains, so it's constantly, you know, running. <laughs> We're fighting a giant blobby chocolate monster. Chocolate fountain monster. Just throw your fondue in a bit, folks, and you know. Yeah. Get a little strawberry on a stick. Yeah. That's the good stuff right there, what that is. Mm. Mmm, <laughs> Chucky. <laughs> hmm. He was trying to say it's a mud slime, but I'm sorry, whoever did this graphic obviously only knew chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is chocolate. <laughs> no one's gonna know the difference, right? Right? Yeah. They wanted me to make it out of sewage, I made a chocolate monster instead. Yeah. I was, I was thinking this is what happens to the trash heap from Fraggle Rock when people started dumping toxic waste. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a great, that's a brilliant reference. Down to Fraggle Rock. Down to Fraggle Rock. Down to Fraggle Rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he almost got caught in the in the chocolate fountain. Mm. Yeah, you know, pretty basic fight. I, I like I said, I it's been so long since I've seen this dungeon. I totally forgot how the boss fights work, but this is pretty basic stuff.
And there we go. And it's now a chocolate pudding. Yeah, that, that pretty much is it. <laughs> okay, what does the duty roulette have next? Oh, Jogobo time. Oh, that was not nearly enough Chocobo time. <laughs> ah, oh so my. there's there's a member of the TARDIS family, uh, Leaf. Oh. One of my favorite things in Ion was when they made the little music. Uh, they made sheet music that you could put in to your music. And somebody did the Chocobo theme. Nice. So I would play that while I'm running around. <laughs> That's good stuff. Love it. A light party. As opposed to a dark party. Or, well, right. technically as opposed to a full party. A light party is four people. A full party is eight. Oop. Light, dark, and office casual. <laughs> Alright, so we're back to the red mage. Like, I feel like he moved a tank just because he wasn't getting out of those, uh, you know, telegraphs. <laughs> He's like, oh, I might as well just go with it, man. If I'm gonna stand in the- if I'm gonna stand in the fire, I might as well stand in the fire for a reason. <laughs> yep, yep. But I believe his- his friend Leaf is- is tanking for him, so he's able to switch out to his favorite class. swaps around. I'll just play whatever. Yeah, you know. I'm so cool. I can play whatever. You're allowed. You know, that's that's the be that's one of the beautiful things about this game is that, you know, one character can be all the jobs. Yeah, I admit that is I mean, it's not as much fun uh from a role play standpoint for me. Sure. But when you're talking about just playing, I don't tend to like playing alts. I got my character, I like my character, I'm getting my stuff on my character. So if I want to do something different, well, go make more. And I'm like, I don't want to make more. <laughs> I don't want to. And actually, it's funny you bring up the fact that one character can do all the things from a role play perspective. The classes that I've selected for my char main character in this game are precisely <laughs> the ones that she would be in... in as a character, like those, those are things. They all have like a story explanation behind the decisions. Oh, awesome! So, so I one thousand percent respect that whole perspective. Like, like I, I, it's what I considered when I was coming up with my, with what classes I wanted to r run as with my character as well. And yes, gardening in Final Fantasy XIV does indeed look intense. <laughs> Let's see, this is what happens when you use too much Miracle Grow. Everything comes alive and starts slapping you. Big fella. Oh, wow. Okay, he's throwing hands at you already. Yes, he is. <laughs> Tentacles. Big, long, whippy vines. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe the mechanic in this fight is that you have to kill the bees before he gets to eat them. Or you have to... Something like that. Oh, wait, no, it's going to try to to nibble you. I forget. Gosh, it's been a while. Yes, that's right. He wants to have a little he wants to have a little nibble dibble. Gardening and Final Fantasy looks intense. <laughs> oh yes, hey, that's put right. Me in there. The plants will die fast, man. <laughs> <laughs> They'll just notice you and be like, oh no, it's her and just fall over. <laughs> 
Okay, yes, I was right. You do have to kill the bugs before it gets to eat them. That's right. And there it goes. Like, even though, like, the older dungeon content scales downwards in level and stats, like, you can still tell, like, when high-level characters with, like, really good gear are still in the dungeon, like, things things get melted in a little, a sh pretty short order. Certainly shorter than, or faster than they would if they were, this was all at level and at the right equipment. So now things got spicy. We are no longer in a garden. We are now in Nacho Cheese Land. Ooh, nacho. See, you see chocolate, I see nacho cheese. Like, this is what... <laughs> I think we surely should have both had a snack before we started doing this. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, melt them down, and I'm like, melts in your mouth, not in your hand. <laughs> Do you love a good spicy nacho cheese? Honestly, it sucks that, like, like little jars of nacho cheese aren't spicy anymore. Like, they're all kind of weak. It's a little sad. I miss my spicy cheese. <laughs> Shrugs. Not, or sings. Nacho, nacho cheese. I really miss spicy nacho cheese. There we go. I okay, worked in my complaint into song. That's uh, that's how you. There you go. <laughs> that's how you work through your pain, right? You sing it out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you sing and dance, and you call in the woodland creatures. Oh no, we do not need woodland creatures in here. No woodland creatures in here, please. Thanks. You've, have you seen the movie Enchanted? I have. The premise of that movie, I just love it to pieces because one, that's like me. <laughs> Randomly running around and going into song. Mostly people looking funny at you, sometimes people joining in. And uh, and I totally envision that, you know, she tries to call her, her critters to come help you, it's rats and cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, can you imagine if you called the critters? Oh. Those are not the right kind of critters. I mean, technically they are, but woo. Well, this boss I remember, especially because, like, even to this day, I. Don't know that very many people remember the mechanics of the fight. <laughs> people still get it wrong, self included, for that matter. I am not one to throw stones. But it is dinosaur time. He's a very, he's a jumping bean, this lizard friend. Very jumpy. Oh, so he's almost dead, I just realized. Wow. There we go. <laughs> Do 
He moved to betrayal. That sounds harsh. A little bit, right? <laughs> Here we go. We go from... This, this place definitely goes in their directions. <laughs> That's for sure. I found they find my. Uh, Alright, let's try that again. I finally found what I was looking for. <laughs> oh, my charger piece. Yay! There you go. Now your phone can stop whining at you. I know. Start screaming at me. <laughs> eh, I'm hungry! Eh! What's for dinner? What's for dinner? What's dinner? I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Dragon. Dragons. Dragon. So it's the same dragons that were kind of around earlier. They just flew away before. The Anybody could take them out, so, so now they're back. They had to go back to their locker room and get a pep talk. You know what? I appreciate that. I mean, it's important to make sure you're in your right mindset before you go into combat with a bunch of bunch of crazy murder hobos. <laughs> Hey, and bam, new raid done. Congratulations, Brit! Yay! Britannia has completed the latest raid in the game. Woohoo! That raid is very cool. It's so, Wait, that was so the cool. end? The, uh, the fight, but not the end of the dungeon. Oh, okay. So now it's time to fight one very large and very angry dragon. But first, loot. It feels really weird that this is a game where you loot before you kill a boss. Oh, you know. Gotta do things different, huh? You gotta. Oh, this thing is just absolutely <laughs> getting melted. Wow. Ooh, oh, boy. But it's not even chocolate. <laughs> No, this thing is not made of chocolate, it is made of angry. Darth, I feel like we need to have that on the back of all of our capes in uh, DDO. <laughs> I break for loot as we pound, smash all the boxes. Important. So this is like a little bit of a, in a burn phase. They have to like kill. They have to like break the dragon's wings before it as fast as they can. That normally would hurt a lot more. Actually, <laughs> it's once again kind of over leveled for it. Holy cow, I just put a cough drop in, and uh, the two different flavors are supposed to be, you know, basically the same medicinally. I feel like I just sucked a whole menthol truck into my mouth or something. Wow. Oh, it's going up my sinuses, man. Mentholiptus cavalry is charging through your entire sinus cavity. It, it really is. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Whoa, dude. Whoa, man. <laughs> Whoa, bro. Cool. 
Got that menthol, bra. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot carry. How come his character doesn't do a little dance at that music and stuff? Mine always did that. I always, always jump up and do the little dance. I always well, I mean, he's got those cutscenes turned off. Those are like little cutscenes that play in between in between uh, ah. events. It's actually you're bringing that up. Funny you bring that up because my I always run out of moat where my character does a little happy dance when a dungeon is complete. I'm sure nobody cares or pays attention, but I like it. Okay, so we're now in a trial. I believe this is Suzaku. So who wants to take bets that I don't go to sleep till like 3 a.m. this morning or something? <laughs> oh gosh. Please get some rest. Woo! No, because the only time I'll need to fall asleep is probably right before the next stream. <laughs> and this reminds me, I need to complete these trials because there's like a these are like prerequisites for a recently added quest, which has some really really lovely looking outfit. At the end, as a reward, and I need that outfit. Angry Firebird! Many angry Firebirds. Whoa, That's a lot of them. I've actually not done this fight, so this is all t totally new to me. Music fits, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, there's... Oh, it's one of those things where you have to like burn down one of them in order to create a zone of safety while the others explode. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So yeah, there's explosions. Oh, this kooky burrow person is about to... Oh, there we go. They're up. Oh, it's a wipe. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wipe out. <laughs> I just realized something. Is this bird wearing a dress or something? What? Okay, drinking water in the menthol. Ah! Oh no! Ah! Oh no! That's ah! that is not a taste hey! sensation. That is a bad idea. Ah! Oh dear. I was wondering why you were quiet. I figured. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. That would definitely shut me up too if I was you. Okay. Whoa! Poor thing. <laughs> New I, flavor I've of had... water. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to mute for so many coughing fits already today. That's all good. I think I've caught them all though, so you guys haven't haven't heard me trying to hack hack on my keyboard. I would hate to try to clean that up. It's 
like dead bird bodies down on the bottom. Yes, and then they get revived by the fiery phoenix plume things. That actually makes sense, honestly. Because, you know, phoenix and all that. <laughs> Hacking on your keyboard. Okay. Thanks for the mental. Thanks for the image. <laughs> yes, MJ is MJ is once again the queen of stream on her throne, still streaming even with with all of her hurts and sickness. All right, transition time, which means my cam my husband is going to spin his camera around like a lunatic, apparently. See that person in front of him? His name is Cookie Burrow. Yeah, it's cute. Cookie Burrow sits on the old gum tree, mighty mighty king of the bushes. He laughs. <laughs> Cookie Burrow laughs. Cookie Burrow. <laughs> well Have you done. never heard that song? I it's it's been a gosh I I feel like I remember it, but it's been a very long time. I think I heard it on Gullah Gullah Island on Nick Jr. It does sound like one of those things that would come from that, yeah. I might have heard it when I was younger too, but I don't know. This is really pretty. Like all little flowers and little magic balls. Okay, phase transition. Phase two begins. Okay, that floor looks dangerous. Yeah. Uh, Much fire! There we go. Please, my love. If only you would I don't Wait. know an awful lot about this story behind these raids, and every single raid and trial and dungeon has like a little story tied to it. I think. I think this story behind this one is like some deific characters are kind of like need to have the anger beaten out of them. They they are like their Aramitama has taken over and like they need to achieve balance and the only way to do that is to obviously cast copious amounts of spells in order to chill the Aramitama out and, and for the character to regain balance. So who in the party is the beloved that she's beseeching here? I'm not sure. I don't think it's anybody in the party. I believe it's... I don't know. I'm not sure. I assume that there's additional context provided in the stories, quests leading up to the fight. It is very gorgeous looking, though. Like, like the stuff that's happening around in the background and... Oh, what is going on here? Oh. Ah, okay. So when it flies through those zones, the that corresponding shape explodes, I think. If I'm reading this right? Yeah, I believe that's what's going on. Yep. That's pretty neat. Honestly, the fight the, the the fight encounters in this game are are just so fascinating. That's why I think I'm kinda like want to see what the raids and the fractals and guild wars 2 are like, because like from some of the things that I've watched before, they all seem kind of similar in terms of the dance steps stuff and, and like all the spatial awareness and, and paying attention. And like I feel like in some of the fights in Guild Wars 2 that I have taken on where there was stuff to avoid and, and patterns to keep attention or keep track of, like my my time in 14 seems to have served me well in that regard. Well maybe that's what she's talking to is Tenzin, presumably. Well who is Tenzin?
Oh, well, now I'm going to have to do these raids in order to find out just what the heck is happening, actually. I know, it's like we're at the end of the story and kind of... A little bit. I the rest. I forget, I forget if this... Because there's like a f series of four fights. I don't know if this is the second or the first or what. Birds. Spicy chickens. And I think this is that part where the bird flies around and... Yep. Ninja got their limit break off. Oh, there it comes in rapid succession now. Oh man. This is cool. It's really cool. Yeah, this is actually making me super want to try these out now. Like watching this go down, it's in full. This is great. Uh, the podium looks like Simon says to me right now. It totally does. Yeah, absolutely. It's got that same sort of color scheme. How do we know which one to stand on? Yeah. <laughs> Britannia, I super want to do these with you after stream. <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd be down, for sure. The two quests and three trials, and this is number four in the set of five. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, wait. Are we just... <laughs> and we're done. Whee! We all done? All done with that fight. <laughs> oh, I'm the tire boy. The little interludes in between con uh, things. It's just great. <laughs> That's wonderful. Aww. Yay! <laughs> that was Bravo. cute. Bravo! Yay! That was adorable. Oh, that was really. <laughs> My husband just had to do a little bit of editing show off. It's wonderful. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah, great. that was awesome. Oh, my goodness. We are so grateful to people for contributing so that we can continue with this. Seriously, it's it's incredibly awesome that folks are willing and able to do this sort of thing. It's, it's truly appreciated because uh, we get to share that with all of you. Yep. And we can't do it without you. We I mean, really can't. Otherwise, it's, it's just us streaming. You know, yeah. Yeah. who would want to watch that? <laughs> I certainly don't want to like comment on myself. I've <laughs> that enough already, right? Yeah, me too. Oh goodness, but, uh, that was that, that was, was really fun. wonderful. That was fun. Thank you so much, MJ, for joining me. That's it's really appreciated. I I can't say this enough. You are the queen on your throne for doing this. It might just be a porcelain throne, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, uh... <laughs> this is great. This is so much fun. And um, I just, I'm really glad to have all you here with us doing this, and especially doing this with Chris. So much fun every time. Yes. I can always look forward to feeling better after one of these streams. Yes, very same. It's, it's. It's it's a lot, but I always feel better at the end of it. It's it's great, and um, we hope you guys feel better and enjoyed yourselves as well. And uh, we have lots more streams coming down through the rest of the week, as per usual. Later on tonight at eight o'clock Eastern, MJ and Larry are going to be together once again for some Star Wars: The Old Republic. On Thursday, January nineteenth at nine fifteen Eastern, MJ will be back with her usual group doing some Dungeons and Dragons online. And then on Friday, January 20th, 2 o'clock Eastern, I will be live doing some Dauntless, just kind of smacking monsters in the face because I feel like it. 
And then later that same night at 8 o'clock Eastern, MJ will be live with her usual Adventure Quest 3D stream. So we hope you tune in for all of that. And as usual, thank you to everybody for all the support you provide Massively Overpowered, whether you are watching the streams or reading what we have to write on the website, or if you're doing incredibly generous things like donating bits to the channel, subscribing to the channel, whitelisting the ads on the site, or what if you're one of our amazing Patreon supporters. No matter what you do, top to bottom, you are the fuel. It keeps massively OP running. We hope to see you later tonight for some SOTOR. Until then, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye.